If you read or watch social media, you've seen people post horror stories about them sending in hundreds of job applications only not to score an interview. Their conclusion is that no one's hiring this market, or at least not juniors. But if you looked at my recent video, you'll see that the market is expected to double over the next 10 years. So what gives? Are the job postings fake? Is it too competitive or too many people applying? Do you have to be lucky just to get a dev job in this market? Or maybe there's something that you could do to improve your chances at scoring an interview. I'm gonna show you today that you don't need luck to land a dev job. First and foremost, first impressions matter. The first impression you give off to a recruiter or hiring manager can determine if you get a request for an interview or not. That means your LinkedIn, your resume, and your portfolio must be on point. Your LinkedIn headline must include keywords of the skills or technologies you use to build applications. Your resume must be properly formatted with no typos and also highlight the skills that hopefully match the job that you just applied for. And your portfolio must include functional published projects and create links, not to GitHub repos, but to publish projects that anyone can just click on and view. Let's look at what Coder Foundry does to remove luck from the process of finding a dev job, starting with knowing the job that you want. Candidates make the mistake of applying for any dev job, and their skills don't necessarily align with those jobs. Here at Coder Foundry, we're looking for web development jobs only. You must know the job that you want to pursue and only apply for those types of roles. Next, you need to pick an in-demand tech for the job that you've selected. Here at Coder Foundry, we teach ASP Donna and C Sharp because it's in-demand for web development. We don't teach Python because that's in demand for data science roles. One of the worst advice I've seen given out on social media is they'll tell first time learners, learn whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. All skills are transferable. While that's true, skills are transferable. When you're applying for roles and your skills don't match the job description, recruiters and hiring managers most of the time are going to look for a stack match when they're looking at new candidates. Next, you need to apply for roles that match the tech stack that you've learned. One of the mistakes candidates make is they shotgun applications across the internet, applying for any and all dev roles. I want you to target your search and only apply for roles that match the skills that you have learned. Next, research the company that you've applied to. Look at their corporate website. Read about the company, their mission statement, the products, the things that you'll be working on. Find the hiring manager. Look at their socials. See if there's any mutual interest between you and that hiring manager that you might could leverage during an interview. Next, you need to leverage LinkedIn. Use LinkedIn to connect to the hiring manager or recruiter for the role. You can also connect with as many people from the company as possible but you need to connect with the decision maker. Next, once you connected, you need to message that decision maker directly. Tell them you applied for the role and give them three reasons why you are a fit for the role. Name check the skills that you have that match the job description. Next, and this may be uncomfortable for a lot of you, but I want you to call the company. Yes, get out your phone and physically dial the company on the phone and talk to the hiring manager. And this works for many reasons. The biggest one is, imagine if you're a company and you had 100 responses to your job posting. And when you call in, it makes them pull your information out and look at it. And now you went from one of the many in a list to top of mind. I want you to be brave. Most people will not do this, but call the company. Remember, they want to hire someone for this role. Next, I need you to track your applications in a spreadsheet. It's very difficult if you're applying for 10 or more roles to keep up with what status each of your job applications are or know when you might need to follow up. Here at Coder Founder, we've created a spreadsheet that does exactly this. There's a link in the description below and you can download it for free to track your job applications. Next, speaking of following up, I want you to follow up on every interaction you have in the job application process. If you apply, I want you to follow up with an in message in LinkedIn, an email or a phone call. If you get an interview, I want you to follow up post interview 
thanking them for their time and asking them what the next steps are. I need you to work every job application to a yes or no. And following up keeps you top of mind. Sometimes you can get lost in the shuffle. There's a lot of candidates going on. So following up shows your general interest and that you would be a great fit for this role. And finally, the most important step of all is stay committed and be positive. This process will work. Don't base your source of knowledge on some random tweet. Don't base your plan on someone else's plan that doesn't work. The jobs are there and luck is not a plan. Take the steps in this video, put them into practice, be committed, stay positive, and I guarantee you, you will get an interview. How do I know this? Here at Coder Friendly, I've seen this exact plan work hundreds of times. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.